Good morning. I hope everyone had a nice evening and was able to enjoy the nice weather we had yesterday. And I hope everyone's ready for today. Today is Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. It is day three in your specials rotation. So we have a physical education or gym today, and that begins at 1145. Today is the 10th day of school, which uh, I always think is, is a milestone amount. Uh, 10 is a very important number in our number system and, and how our numbers work. So I think it's exciting we've made it to the 10th day of school officially. If we look at the number frame, the 10 frame, of course, the 10 frame is completely filled in. We know that that stands for 10. I have our number bond. Uh, if we look at 10 is the whole, five is one part, the other part would be five, that is correct. And over here with our coins, I made a change. Does anybody think they know what coin that is? There's one coin that stands for 10 cents. Anybody know? If you said dime, you would be correct. And what I think is interesting about our coins is the size of the coin doesn't mean how much it's worth, meaning that a dime is actually smaller than the penny and smaller than the nickel in size, even though the dime is worth more. So I just find that kind of interesting. So you can't go by the size of the coin for how much it's worth. But one dime is equal to 10 cents, and that's what we have today is the number of days we've been in school. All right, before we get into our agenda, our, our schedule for today, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. So I will do that. And our flag is up here. Let me move it for you. And I will begin. And please feel free to stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you. So for today, this morning, coming out first thing will be the math application problem. Again, thank you for doing such a great job yesterday on that. Uh, it's just meant to get your math brain kind of warmed up and thinking about the lesson for today and just try to do the best that you can using the read the problem, draw, and then write to solve it and explain your thinking. You did a really nice job. The second thing this morning that will come out right away will be, we're gonna give the star reading test another try. Um, so we've worked with the technology department and they believe that, that it should be fixed and you know you should, shouldn't have, it shouldn't be restricted anymore. So in the activity, I left the, uh, instruction video that I had originally posted and then I just put the link to access star directly in your seesaw activity so you could just tap and then press and hold to get to the star login page um, directly from seesaw so you can go right from there and um, you know all the same things just try to do your best if a grown-up could help you with the first part the practice test um, but all those directions are explained in the video on the Seesaw activity, okay? So fingers crossed that that will work, uh, but of course, please let me know if you are having any trouble with it, but I, I think it should be good now. They've tested it and it should work. So just try your best and that will be, you know, assigned this morning. Then we will have our live class again. It is another day for word building. So if you could please grab these letters here and I'll put them in the in the typed up schedule as well so you can look on there if you need to but if you could please grab B I T D R P S A uh, for today's word building lesson and just what you did yesterday was perfect and worked out great if you put them in a little you know sandwich bag or uh, envelope or container whatever works best for you and we'll go ahead and do our word building at 10 again um, as well as that, the dictation paper, I apologize. Yesterday, I hadn't told you ahead of time um, to grab that paper, but if you could also bring another blank 
um, word building dictation paper. We'll do the same thing today that we did yesterday. Perfect. And I just wanted to give a quick mention about spelling. Uh, a spelling list was sent home on Friday to your grown-ups email, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about that this morning. For our spelling, on Thursdays during our live class, we will spend a small part of that time taking a spelling test. And on the list, you'll notice that there are anywhere from like 15 to 20 words on your list. And the way that we do spelling is, I really want you to focus on learning the pattern. So this week, we're learning short A and short I words. And so I want you to really try to focus on just learning the pattern. And then once you learn that, you could really spell any word that follows that pattern by using the, the, your knowledge about other sounds. So rather than just memorizing the list for your spelling, just think about learning the pattern. And then on the actual spelling test, you won't have a test with 20, 20 words on it. I'll just choose 12 of them and then you'll practice, you know, you'll write them on your spelling test paper. So that will happen on Thursday. Uh, we'll take a practice, we'll do a practice spelling test on Wednesday, and I'll explain that when we get to that point. But I just wanted to give you a little bit more information. I know it looks like there's a lot of words on that list, um, but you'll just do 12 of them on the actual test day. And again, I encourage you to just learn the pattern versus memorizing the list, if that makes sense. So we'll keep talking about that as we do word building, but that will be this morning word building um, today at 10. And then um, after that, you'll send your dictation paper that we do on the live, and then you'll read that little decodable text story that's on the second page of that seesaw activity. Then we'll have our math at one, and then you'll do your math problem set exit ticket like we've been doing um, when, the, when we're finished with the live lesson, okay? All right, well, it's kind of another busy day today. Thank you again for all your hard work, and let me know if you have any trouble with STAR or you have any questions, and I will talk with you all soon. Great job. Thank you.